Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and today I'm bringing you all the cosmetics that you can earn for free in the Elder Scrolls Online that pertain to just the base game and Morrowind. If you're excited about earning some cool looking items or cosmetics for free, then this video is for you. So before we get started, I do want to mention that I do play live on twitch.tv slash got this on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to come watch me, comment, and ask questions, just come to that on those times. The link is in the description, twitch.tv slash got this. And if you want to join our growing community on the Discord in the Guild, make sure to join through the link in the description as well. And that's what you're seeing here in the intro. We do some cool uh, Guild things where we meet certain goals and we get to film interesting intros like this that you're seeing in front of you but we also do pvp tournaments um, in the guild hall we have tons of crafting tables for everyone to use and just a lot of other cool things so make sure to join our guild and the discord we have an amazing community here so it's there for you all in the description and lastly make sure to check out our website bravagothis.com we have all the text guides there and a lot of beginner and veteran friendly things and you can follow my social media links on twitter and instagram but let's go ahead and jump into the video so in ESO you have a lot of cosmetics to say the least or collectibles if you like to call them that in this video i want to just cover the base game and morrowind since morrowind comes with the base game now i think eso does an amazing job at giving you loads of options for customizations in this game from motifs to dyes to costumes to hats furnishings you name it and even better there are a lot of cosmetics that you don't have to pay a dime for to earn and yes there are cosmetics obviously that cost real money in the crown store but we aren't gonna go into those, only the ones that are free. I will also be going through all the cosmetics in the DLC and expansion zones that are free in another video as well, so stay tuned for that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of these that are free and we're gonna tell you where to get them or how to get them in some sort of way. But something that I want to start off with, guys, is I wanna start with the dyes. And this is gonna be very brief with the dyes. I'm not going through every single die because there are a ton, but I actually wanna show you some cool little things that you can do if you wanna find where you can actually get a collectible. So first off, if you press U on a PC, you have the collections here. The collections are gonna have a lot of things. You have appearance, furnishings, you know, fragments, uh, assistance, mementos, tools, mounts, non-combat pets, emotes, all right? You also got your houses, okay? You also have all of your motifs or outfit styles. And stay tuned for an upgraded fashion outfit style video guide as well. But then something I want to show you guys is if you go to an outfit station, right? And you want one of these cool dyes, all right? All you have to do is go to it and right click to view the achievement because all the dies in this game are earnable through achievements okay so if you go right click you can view achievement it goes to your achievement journal and it shows you exactly how to get the die it tells you right here learn 100 provisioning recipes you can do that with any single die in the game okay not all these dies are in the base game like i said i'm not going through every single one of these but a lot of these dies are like this transliminal violet die is that you see right here this goldish purple that is in the base game technically because imperial city dlc is free in the crown store so you can do that you've got to complete and kill molag ball in the imperial city sewers to get this die so again you just have to right click them and you can view achievements and then the other thing that's your best friend is you also can earn tons of titles in this game y'all titles are what your you know character says up here so right now i'm a peak scaler and to find that the your best friend in the game is going to be clicking j on your journal and going to achievements you can find all the titles in here by going through and looking at the little treasure box that tells you that you get a reward okay when you do that and again you can also search with all er show earned or show unearned so that's an awesome way to find all the titles there are again are a ton of titles in this game that are earned for free by just doing achievements so we're going to start off with appearance we're going to start with hats and so with hats Cadwell's Helm of Heroism is a hat that you can earn by, again, doing achievements. This is received by completing Cadwell's Gold, and Cadwell's Gold is earned. That's not the right window. Cadwell's Gold is earned, if you go to Cadwell's Almanac right here, after you complete the Gold version. So basically, once you do all of your base zone uh, quests, so in like I'm in Aldermary Dominion, so once I do all of my stuff in automated dominion like all the zone quests i will then get the ability to do uh cadwell's uh, silver 
which is for me is in Ebonheart Pack. So you see right here it says Stone Falls. It says you've got to do all of these objectives right here, basically. Um, and those are, again, mainly the main quest lines in the zone. So those little diamonds that you see. Um, and then once you do the silver, you've got to go to gold, which is the other main alliance, and do that quest line as well. So once you do that, you can get Cadwell's Heroism Helmet. And it's kind of goofy, but it's hilarious. The next thing is the Crown of Misrule. This is something you can get during the Jester's Festival. Um, this might not be back, but I did want to mention it because it is free. Uh, so you can earn that through the Jester's Festival. I have a Jester's Festival video in the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. But again, that is not active right now. Now we're going to go to Head Markings. Head Markings, Buoyant Armiger Face Tattoo. This is obtained by helping Lord Vivek distribute the Divine Blessings. You see it's got the face thing right there. This is earned basically by completing the whole Morrowind zone quest line. So if you go to the map, you go to Morrowind, and you see this right here, you've got a complete divine blessings there at the bottom, and that will give you that face tattoo. The next free head marking is the Morag Tong face tattoo. This is given to you by completing the Balmora quest line in Vardenfell, so in Morrowind. So again, if you go to your map, you will go to Morrowind right here, and Balmora is right here. If you do all the quests in this city, like the main quest in this city, you will get that uh, face marking. And that's what it looks like right there. You see it. It's a little pale because I'm a vampire. So in that Balmora quest line, you have Fling the Past of Faith and Family, a Purposeful Writ, and Family Reunion. Now for Major Adornments. Major Adornments, the one free one that you can get is from the Laurel Wreath in the Mid-Year Mayhem. And so that is right here, Mid-Year Victor's Laurel Wreath. Again, if they keep doing this event, this is a PvP event, you can earn this, but right now that is not active. Again, I have a Mid-Year Mayhem video in the description if you want to check that out, but again, it's not active. Now, let's go into the costume. The costumes that you can earn for free. Dark Seducer, acquired by reaching champion level 60. So there's Dark Seducer. Golden Saint, acquired by reaching CP uh, 20. Then you've got uh, Imperial Chancellor. This is acquired by reaching 160 CP. Then you got Regalia of the Scarlet Judge. This is acquired by completing the Scarlet Judge in Saron quest. So that's just a side quest in Morrowind again. And that quest is in this town right here, Saron. Then some other ones that you can earn are Arena Gladiator. This is acquired by combining 50 Arena Gladiator proofs available on conquest missions in Cyrodiil with Arena Gladiator Exaltation available from purchase from the War Researchers in Cyrodiil. This is something PvP related. You also have Emperor's Regalia, which is very hard to obtain, but it's free technically. If you become the Emperor of Cyrodiil, you can get this. It's actually really cool, but again, very hard to obtain. You also have the Siege Master's Uniform. This is, again, by combining 50 Siege of Cyrodiil Merits um, in the Imperial City or Cyrodiil. Uh, and so that's another collection that you can earn if you want that from PvP. Now we're into the body markings, Buoyant Armager Body Tattoos. This is as well given to you if you complete the all the quests in Morrowind, uh, like the main zone quest, so Divine Blessings. It's just like the face uh, marking, but it's a body marking as well. And the same thing with Morag Tong Body Tattoo. You get that from completing the Balmora quest line. Like the face marking, this is just a body marking as well. Then we have these skins. The free skin that you can get is Crystal Frost Skin. This is by completing the Newly Charitable Achievement. This is from the New Life Festival, okay? These are done by doing the Ritz from that. That festival is not active right now, but you can still do the Ritz, y'all. So if you go to the Achievements tab and you go to Holiday Events, you go to New Life Festival, complete two, 12 New Life Charity Ritz. You can buy these from Guild Traders and you can get the Crystal Frost skin right there. And if you want to know how Guild Traders work, you can check out my Guild a uh, trader guide in the description as well but crystal frost skin you see right there newly charitable now personalities you can actually earn the telvani magister personality this is uh, rewarded by completing the telvani quest line in vardenfell and this is what it looks like you put your hands over your arms like that and your your hand is at your face so into the polymorphs now you can get the skeleton polymorph from actually doing a quest two quests in shadowfin in the base game that's in the ebonart pact so in the ebonart pact you go right here shadowfin and that is still rise village there's going to be two quests there 
One is called the Thin Ones. The other one is called the Bargain's End. And Bargain's End is the one that's going to get you the Skeleton Polymorph. The other three Polymorphs that you can get are these Zivkin, Augur, Tormentor, or Dread Guards. These are found very rarely from the Imperial Reward Containers purchased in the Imperial City. Again, Imperial City is free on the Crown Store. Now we're into the general furnishings. You've got the Vardenfell Scale Model. This is found by doing the 30 collectibles around the zone. So every zone now that are that are new basically have these like fragments that you can collect that get you like a furnishing or a house or something like that. We'll go over more on that in the DLC and expansion free cosmetics. But this, there's 30 uh, ancestral tombs in Vardenfell. And it is on this map right here. All the locations, you can screenshot that. Next, we're going to go through the Undaunted Busts. So the busts are earned by doing the veteran versions of the dungeons, and the trophies are earned from just completing the actual dungeon. It doesn't have to be on a uh, veteran or anything like that. It just needs to be completed. So you'll see that I have a ton here, and there's a few other ones that I haven't completed yet. Now for fragments, these are basically all from events, but these Indrix are free. Um, you don't have to pay money to get these Endrix. Now, some of the events that the Endrix are in, you do have to have the expansion or DLC for. So I'm not going to go super into these, but basically all these fragments are what makes some sort of mount or some sort of memento. And all of these things, for the most part, are DLC expansions, so I'm not going to go into that as much. Now we're going to go into mementos real quick. Mementos, again, are like little animations you can do. Um, you can get mementos from completing public dungeons in the game. So... If you do the public dungeon quest, so any of the public dungeons in the base game, uh, so the public dungeons look like this, uh, you can get a memento for mainly all of them, I believe. And so those are cool little things you can put on your quick slot bar. Like you'll see I have Alma Alexia's Enchanted Lantern. I do it, and that is like one of the mementos or whatever. Now next are mounts, and this is the one thing in ESO that I wish were more earnable. They've started to add some earnable mounts for the most part, but there's only a collection of, of some that you can get that are actually earnable. Um, this one you earn just from leveling up in the Level Up Advisor, for that's, so that's anyone, so that's the Sorrel Horse. You can also get the Bay Dun Horse from any Stable Master in the game. You can get the Brown Paint Horse from any Stable Master in the game. You can get Midnight Steed from any Stable Master in the game with gold. And again, you have the Indrik mounts, which are technically free, but some of the events are in DLC expansion zones. These, if you want to check out my Indrik guide, you can check it out in the description to learn about that. Or you can also check out the website at BroadwayGotThis.com. We explain it on there as well. Now, with pets, there are a ton of pets in this game. And so some pets that you earn in this game are only limited edition pets because like, if you did like the download to uh, the re-download of the client, you got a cool pet. Like, there's a lot of pets they give the community for free if you do certain things like re-download client, like I said, like sign up for something, things like that. But there are a lot of pets in the crown store. There's actually um, some earnable pets and there's a lot of earnable pets in the DLC expansion zones. But some of the free pets that you can get, one of them is the Stonefire Scamp. This is something you can do by killing Molag Ball in the Imperial City. It's a uh, rare drop, but this is a pretty cool little pet. And again, it's something that is free. You've got the Abyssinian Ratter Cat. That is given to anyone who levels up. You've also got the Alakir Dunehound. That's also anyone who levels up. And like I said, there are a ton of pets in here that you can earn from DLC expansion zones. There are crown pets and there are also limited time pets. But that leads to the next thing, which are daily rewards. And I, you might be wondering, like, what do you mean by daily rewards? Daily rewards... Every month, there's some sort of like major thing that you can earn for the most part. Like as you see here, there's a major adornment. There's this facial hair item. This is something you just get from logging in. You don't have to have any sort of expansion or DLC. And a lot of times, they actually have pets here. So a good bit of the pets I've gotten have come from the daily rewards. So make sure to log in, do your daily rewards. If you want to check out a video that I have on the things you should do when you log in every day, I've got a video in the description for you guys there. Now, for emotes, there's a lot of base game emotes already in the game, um, but there's also some you can earn from DLC expansions that we're not going to go over, like I said. And so, uh, and then there's earnable ones as well, and then crown store ones, but there's a lot of base game emotes. These are just extra ones. Now, we're going to go into the housing thing. There are three free houses you basically can get for the most part. 
One of them is Mara's Kiss Public House, which is in Ardon for the Aldermary Dominion. And that is right here. Um, and then you can buy for 3,000 gold the apartments um, in the Daggerfall Covenant, which is the Rosy Lion. And in Ebon Art Pact is the Ebony Flask in room. But those, I'm pretty sure, will be free for you if you are in that alliance. Then you can also go to the Crown Store and go to the Room to Spare housing brochure. It's for free, and it will give you the starting quest for housing. And again, there are some earnable houses for free in DLC expansion zones, but we'll go over that in the next video. And some of the last things we're going to talk about are motifs. Motifs are huge in this game. They're my favorite thing in this game. And if you guys want to participate in our fashion contests, you can do that every two weeks. Uh, we, we showcase the best fashion in the uh, Discord and community. But f motifs are literally amazing, y'all. And technically, all motifs are technically uh, able to be bought with gold, not real money. So, like, you can actually get any motif in the game, even if you don't have the DLC or expansions. But I want to talk about the motifs in the base game, though, that are actually earnable, because almost all of them are earnable. So, when you go to the collections tab, you have the outfit styles here, and we're going to do an updated outfit styles and motif video guide eventually, y'all. I have one in the channel, but I want to update it. But here it shows you all your motifs and all that good stuff. It shows you everything you know and uh, have learned, and you can transmog. This helps how I look like this. This is a transmog. So all the battleground motifs, which are like the PvP arena things, that is from the Morrowind um, game, so you're going to have that in the base game. And so you can get all these motifs, um, like the signature, like helmets, Fire Drake, Pit Damon, Storm Lord, and Battleground Runner. You can get all the chest, legs, shoulders, all that stuff. You can get um, from doing battlegrounds and if you win you get the coffers um, and you get a more of a higher chance of getting the pages and so you can earn these all for free by doing battlegrounds now for motifs that are in the base game i'm just going to name out all the motifs you have nine racial motifs obviously in the base game those are the base races those you can find in anything in the base zones you can buy them for like 500 gold or less they're really cheap y'all they're not hard to find then you also have styles including akaviri akaviri is from the cyrodiil war researcher in uh in pvp you also got ancient elf ancient elf is cadwell's gold zones that is earnable by looking through desks backpacks trunks wardrobes nightstands dressers in the gold zones. so for the gold zones for me would be the daggerfall covenant barbaric style is also in cadwell's silver zone so that would be the ebon art pack for me Again, it's lootable from all types of chests and containers. And again, some of these are really cheap to buy for gold, so you might not even need to farm them, y'all. You could just buy them with gold, but I just want to mention them. You've got Celestial. Celestial is from the Craglorn Trials. Those are the base game trials. You've got the Daedric style. The Daedric style is from Cadwell's Gold Zones as well. You've got the Draugr style. Those are from Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild, and Undaunted Delve Dailies. You've got the Dramora style, which is technically from the Witches Festival, which is an event, but that's not active right now. What it will be eventually here in a couple months, or less than a couple months, really. You've got the Dwemer style, and you can get this from uh, Killing Dwemer or um, any sort of containers in Dwemer Ruins is what I've experienced. You've got Ebony style, which is from doing Master Writs from the Writ Vouchers. We have a Master Writ guide in the YouTube channel, in the description, and on the website if you want to check out how to do Master Writs. You've got Glass, which you can also get from Master Ritz as well. Um, you've got Hollow Jack, which again is from the Witches Festival, which is not active currently, but you can still buy them for gold. You've got Imperial, which is in all zones. Uh, again, you can buy that for gold. You've got Mercenary Motifs, which are in Undaunted Reward uh, boxes. You've got Primal, which is in all zones. Again, you can buy that for really cheap. You've got Raw Gato, which is also pretty cheap. Ragata can be earned in like Craglorn. That's where I've gotten a lot of my Ragata styles from. It's not too expensive again either, y'all. You've got Skin Changer motifs, which is from the New Life Festival, which again is not active right now, but you can still buy them for gold. You've got Warm Colt, which is from uh, the Anniversary Jubilee events, which we've had every year. That is not active currently either, but you can buy them for gold. You've got Yokadin, which is from the daily or repeatable quests in Craglorn. And those are the actual base game motifs. So you can earn all of those. But again, you can buy them with gold as well. They're not that expensive, some of them. But if you want to earn them, they are free, like I said. And you can also earn basically every other motif in the game. And we'll go through that in the DLC Expansion Zone video for free cosmetics. But that's going to wrap up the cosmetics video, y'all. 
Um, again, I went over as much as I could in this video. Again, you saw that it's something that is jam packed with information. And so that's why I split it up from that to DLC expansion. So we will be doing the DLC expansions free cosmetic video after the next ESO DLC releases August 24th. So you can guys can look out for that later on in the month or the beginning of September. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you want to watch me play live, come to twitch.tv slash probably got this Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in the description. You can also join our amazing Discord and our two guilds. Link is in the description. Check out our website at probablygotthis.com. A lot of these guides that I mentioned are also on the website. And if you want to check out the new merch that we have in the merch store, you guys can check out all the merch links below. And I want to give a shout out as well to all my patrons. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, uh, we have all the tiers available down in the description. Uh, you can go to the Patreon link. And just at the lowest tier, you're able to get early access to every video that I post, as well as some other goodies throughout all the other tiers, like vlogs, Q&As, and uh, getting your name uh, you know, mentioned here in the credits of every single video. So if you want to join the Patreon and support the channel further, you guys can check out that link in the description. But remember, y'all, have faith, be great, and I'll see you guys on ESO.